Good morning and welcome to our today's discussion. So uh, last time we started our discussion about Aristotle's definition of happiness. So we will also be discussing today about the same topic. So before we begin, I would like to ask you that what Aristotle actually he meant by happiness. So what is happiness to him? Or how actually, how can we achieve happiness? What did he say? Can anyone tell me something about from the last lecture? So what was his idea of happiness? Very briefly, you can say. Who can say? Happiness depends on ourselves. Okay, that's great. Happiness depends on ourselves. And how can we achieve it? I don't remember. Okay, anyway, thank you. Thank you for your answer. Happiness depends on ourselves. So how does it depend on ourselves? Can you explain? Anyone? Sir, mm -hmm. sir it depends on our virtue. It depends on our virtue. So that means uh, we have to cultivate virtue, right? Yes. Okay, so for him, virtue, that actually we can cultivate it. So that is happiness. Uh, that is virtue and uh, happiness, they are uh, closely related. Then uh, he also said that happiness, uh, that is the, I mean, it is not that for the sake of anything that we have to achieve happiness. Rather, happiness is something which is permanent. But everything, uh, it has its goal, and the goal is happiness. And happiness itself is the goal, right? Happiness itself is the end. Happiness itself is the objective or purpose of life. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So briefly, that is what actually what he talked about happiness. Now, let's jump to our today's discussion. Okay, as we can recall from our last lecture that he uh, wrote a book and the name of that book is Nicomachean Ethics, where actually he tried to uh, define happiness and how actually we can achieve it. And also he, he posed some question about happiness there. So from there, we can come to know about happiness and other things. And some of the questions like, what is the ultimate purpose of human existence? So it was, it's a very uh, existential question that how, what is the purpose of our life? Then what is the end or goal for which we should direct all of our activities? That means our activities in our, in our life. So what are the goals of it? Why actually we are doing all these things? So these are the questions that he, that he talked about it. And also he tried to find answer to those questions. All right, now let's see what we have in the next slide. Now here also he talked about that, uh, about the ultimate end of our life. As he said that to be an ultimate end, an act must be self-sufficient and final. That which is always desirable in itself and never, be, and never for the sake of something else. So if we do any act, it must be self-sufficient and final. So we must be very focused about the objective, about the goal. Okay, and also he talked about that, that happiness itself is the goal, and it, that's why he says that, and it must be attainable by man. That means if we do something, that must be attainable. That means uh, it should be within the limit, so we can attain it, we can achieve those goals. Then Aristotle claims that nearly everyone would agree that happiness is the end, which meets all these requirements. It is easy enough to see that we desire money, pleasure, and honor only because, only because we believe that these goods will make us happy. It seems that all other goods are means towards obtaining happiness, while happiness is always an end itself. So whatever we do, that will lead to happiness. So that is the ultimate goal of life, that we want to be happy. All right, now, uh, all these are from our last lecture. So 
we will start the discussion from here today. Uh, what is said that it is more like the ultimate value of online has lived up to this moment, measuring how well you have lived up to your full potential as a human being. So it is more like the ultimate value of your life has lived up to this moment. So you are living this moment. And how actually you have to measure it? So measuring how well you have lived up to your full potential as a human being. So even at this moment, whether actually you have utilized your potential as a human being, if you can do it very successfully or if you succeed, then you can say that you are happy. Now, for this reason, one cannot really make any pronouncements about whether one has lived a happy life until it is over. Just as we would not say of a football game that it was a great game at halftime. So, uh, where actually we can say that we have utilized, I mean, all the potential and also we enjoyed the moment or we lived up to this moment, we can say that we are happy at the, I mean, Usually what is suggested that here, that when actually you were on your deathbed or at the end of your day, at the end of your life, or you're very close to the end of your life, there you can judge or you can evaluate all the activities and all the things that you have done so far. Then you can say that whether you're happy or not. Uh, here is a good analogy and it's an example that when you watch a football game and during the halftime, you cannot say that it's a great game but because you don't know what is going to happen after the halftime maybe it might not be that much great just like the first half so the first half and second half when you complete the bow then at the end of the 90 minutes uh, span of that game then you can say that okay it's a great game or it's a bad game so you can say that at the end of the game now for the same reason we cannot say that children are happy any more than we can say that an acorn is a tree for the potential for a flourishing human life has not yet been realized. As Aristotle says, for as it is not one swallow or one fine day that makes it spring, spring, so it is not one day or a short time that makes a man blessed and happy. So for the same reason, we cannot say that children are happy. Now, the thing is that, that children are children. So when they're happy, we cannot say that, okay, they will be happy when, when they will grow up. So you have to wait for that. Similarly, if, if you are just uh, looking at the seed or the fruit of the tree, you cannot say that that is, I mean, that is, it has uh, flourished or it has the full potential, it has used the full potential to be a tree because it needs, it needs nourishment, it, it needs flourishment. Similarly, the human life, you have to use the full potential of your life and at one point in full life, then uh, especially at the end of the life, then you can say that, yeah, I'm happy or not. That's why Aristotle also, he's saying that, for as it is not one swallow or one fine day that makes a spring. That means in spring, not all the days, they are beautiful. Usually spring, uh, you can say that is the, the most beautiful season of the year. But just one fine day of the spring, you cannot say that the whole spring is beautiful or it's, it's very enjoyable, it's very nice. You have to wait. At the end of the spring, with all the days together, you count the, all the blessings together, then you say, okay, it's, it was a great spring. Otherwise, you cannot say that. Uh, do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, do you have any question? Understood so far what it has been mentioned here? No. Could you please turn on your video, all of you? Please turn on your videos. Dear students, please turn on your video. Are we up? 29 participants along with me, that means 28 students. Please turn on your video. Are we up? I would like to see. Turn on your video, please. Also, I cannot see your video. Are we up? Yes. 
খাচ্ছি স্যার তাই এখন তুমি ক্লাসের সময় খাচ্ছো আর ইট ইজ বিইং রেকর্ডেড এটা না বললেও পারতা বলতে স্যার আমি বিজি আই উইল জয়েন লেটার এবে সো লেট মি রিড ইট अगेन সো উই ওয়ার ওকে so we are talking about the happiness as the ultimate purpose of human existence so we discussed it now let me check yeah so uh, here actually he is trying to give us some kind of analogy as you can see that as aristotle says for as it is not one swallow of one fine day that makes his spring so it is not one day or a short time that makes a man less than happy so just a single day will not ensure that okay we are happy babar to hocche ekom je spring season e to amra dhore ni hoto do mash spring season ekhon spring er ekta din sundor bole ami ki bole debo je puro spring season ta bhalo gache erokom to amra bolte parchi na karon amake total spring ta ke count korte hobe shomosh spring season e dekhi je na moto moto average most of the days are fine tokhon ami bolbo je it was a great spring this year bujhte parcho ki bolche जीवन Especially in Bangladesh, our their average life expectancy got up. Our their average life life expectancy. Should I call it a little bit? Maybe seventy, sixty-five, seventy, just like this. Yes, sir. So, our what is sixty-five? Kind of sixty. Just when our sixty, how about? Or if we actually just show, I mean, both the part. Yeah, I can decide. Yes, I use my the whole potential. I mean, as a person, and now I can say whether I'm happy or not. So you can say you're happy, or you can say no, I'm not happy because I couldn't use the whole potential. Or even I, uh, I had the potential, but I couldn't make my life successful, so I'm not happy. So at the end of 60 or 65, then we'll judge. Not, not at this moment of life. All right. Now, in order to explain human happiness, now we're going to talk about at this stage the hierarchical view of nature. Nature is just a hierarchical view. I said, that nature hierarchical view is a key. যে নেচারে কোন জিনিসটা আমরা হায়ারকে বলতে বুঝাই যে ফ্রম টপ টু বটম অর্থাৎ সর্বোচ্চ তারপরে তার নিচে আস্তে আস্তে ভাবে করে নামতে সো উই ওয়ান্ট টু সি দ্যাট হাউ দিস হায়ারকাল ভিউ অফ নেচার অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইট কন্ট্রিবিউটস টু দ্য মেকিং অফ হ্যাপি অর ইট কন্ট্রিবিউটস টু মেক আস হ্যাপি ইন অন সে ইন অর্ডার টু এক্সপ্লেন হিউম্যান হ্যাপিনেস অ্যারেস্ট টু ড্র অন এ ভিউ অফ নেচার ইট ড্রাই ফ্রম হিস বায়োলজিক্যাল ইনভেস্টিগেশনস we know it that i sort of actually he was very much into this bar i mean this biology so and also he started bar bio biology uh, he experimented with bio biological stuff so from this i mean his experiments and investigations he uh, also used the same technique or same investigations or the results of those investigations uh, i mean uh, into Uh, the explanation of happiness so while actually he wanted to explain happiness he used these biological investigations and their results let's say now he says that if we look at nature we notice that there are four different kinds of things that exist in the world so according to aristotle he has found four different kinds of things in this world and that makes our existence uh, okay or successful now he is Uh, saying that that each one defined by different purpose so all these elements for different kinds of things they are defined uh, according to their different purposes so let's see what is there you see you can see that first thing on the screen that is mineral the first one is mineral okay just hold on a second okay so the first one is mineral So what is mineral? You can see the rocks, metals, and other lifeless things. So we call them mineral. The only goal which these things seek is to come to a rest. They are beyond stupid, since they are inanimate objects with no soul. 
Do you find it interesting? It's very interesting logic. I mean, if you read it and if you can understand it, we'll find it very interesting. Uh, is there anyone who can read it? Zain, can you read this? Read this part, mineral? Zain? Yes, sir. Okay, read it. Read the first part. Thank you. <clears throat> Rocks, minerals, and other uh, lifeless things. No, no, rocks, oh. rocks, metals, rocks, metals, and other life metals forms. and another uh, life, lifeless things. Okay. The only goal which uh, these things uh, seek is uh, is to come come to a come to a rest. Rest. They are beyond beyond stupid, since they are uh, inanimate. Objects with no soul. Okay, so are you reading it from your uh, cell phone's screen? Or cell yes, phone sir. Screen? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So who can explain this? The only goal which these things see, these things means the mineral, like rocks, metals, and other lifeless. They see is to come to a rest. Who can explain can anyone explain this? Rocks, metals, and other lifeless things. So uh, uh, do they move? Do they have life? Rocks, can they walk? Do they move? Dipti, tell me. Dipti, tell me, what does it mean? Sorry, sir. Gil Mushraf, Mimi. Yes, sir. Explain this line. The only goal with these things, these things means rocks, metals, and other lifeless things, is to come to rest. Things see is to come to a rest. Okay, so what does it mean? Lina. Gil Mushraf, yes, keep thinking, I'll come back to you. Lina, explain this line. Sir, these lifeless things and they um, do not move and they always to be erased. That means they always they are uh, they're immovable. Yes. Uh, that means they don't move and they stay in one single place, right? Yes, sir. The metal and other, for example, the chairs and tables in my office. Yes, sir. So they're in the same place. If I move them, they I mean only I can move them, but they cannot move by themselves. So they're goal of life, the purpose of life, objective is to rest. Rocks, No, sir. Rest This is very interesting. They are beyond stupid, since they are inanimate objects with no soul. They are beyond stupid. What does it mean? Can you call a rock that it's it's stupid? Can you call a chair that that, that chair is stupid? Can you call it? Can we say that chair is stupid? No, sir. No, Bush, sir. Tell me. Bush, can we call the chairs, tables, or rocks, metals, I mean iron, steel? Can we call them stupid? No, sir. Why don't you call them stupid? Why don't we call them stupid? The answer is there. Tell me, Nishi. Sir, because they are inanimate Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, could you please repeat it, Nishi? Sir, because they are inanimate objects. Okay, they're inanimate object. That's why we don't call them stupid. But can we call uh, people stupid? Yes, sir, we can. Yes, sir. All right, can we call the dog is stupid? No, sir. No, sir. Or the cow? That cow is a stupid cow? No, sir. So no, sir. we use stupid only for human, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. But sometimes we call that that's a stupid dog. That means uh, that's not a smart dog. A smart cat for that, but usually we use a stupid this adjective for human being. Why? Because we have sense. 
Exactly. And what we have? We have conscience. Yes, we have conscience. Manushir Bibek Ache. Jakhani Bibek Borji to kaach kare, takhun takhe bali student. Ako Goru Chagolar to MBT Sishri Kartu Bhabe Pathan Nai. Rocks, metal set to life in a should I'm a key to the bolo that is to be chat a good idea. No, sir. To a chair chair and chair take an easy jet to a hotter for the area set and go what the chair take is to be on a jar for the area. Into the Manusho, Talaku to Bolta, the Tomar Gate Sham the Daria to Marjan, Ashija to Deco Shore Dara. Takum Bolta, that is stupid man. Right? He's starting on the way. On the way to the uh, classroom or something like that. So we can say. So you see, beyond this stupid, you cannot call them stupid. And their only purpose of these metals and rocks that they are meant to rest. Okay? All right. Now, now the second thing, the second thing is vegetative. Vegetative, like plants and other wildlife. So here we see a new kind of things emerge, something which is alive, because plants seek nourishment and grow. They have souls and can be even said to be satisfied when they attain these goals. So mineral, they are lifeless. So we cannot say that they are happy because they don't have anything for satisfaction. But the trees, when they are full of fruit, right? And when they're full of flowers, then we can say that that tree is full of flowers, full of fruit. In that case, we can say that tree is satisfied because the purpose of that tree was to grow flower and fruit. So that is that is the success of that tree. So that, that life of the tree, the life of that tree is successful. Then in that case, we can say that is satisfied. Understood what I'm saying? Because it needs nourishment and it grows. Gachpala boro hai na? The nourishment is pani lage na? খনিজ পদার্থ লাগে না সেটা শেকড় দিয়ে ব্যবহার করে সেগুলো সে নেয় না সে তার পাতা ব্যবহার করে সে ফল উৎপাদন করে না ফুল উৎপাদন করে না বুঝতে পারছো কি বলছি নিশ্চিত यस স্যার ডু হ্যাভ মি यस স্যার ওকে তাহলে হচ্ছে গাছের কিন্তু একটা পূর্ণাঙ্গতা আছে গাছ কি করে তার পটেনশিয়ালটা সে ব্যবহার করে বেঁচে থাকার জন্য ফলবান হওয়ার জন্য ওকে তাহলে আমরা দেখলাম যে ভেজিটেটিভ যে তাদেরও কিন্তু জীবনে একটা গোল আছে টু অ্যাটেইন সাকসেস টু বি স্যাটিসফাইড ইন देयर ओन লাইফ বিকজ দে हैव লাইফ যখন এই লাইফ থাকবে কোনো কিছু তখন একটা কিছু সে অ্যাটেইন করবে তার জীবনে তখন সেটাকে আমরা হ্যাপিনেসের একটা মানদণ্ড বা ক্রাইটেরিয়া হিসেবে ধরে নেব লেটস জাম্প টু দ্য নেক্সট স্লাইড নাও দ্য থার্ড এলিমেন্ট দ্যাট ইজ অ্যানিম Animal, all the creatures we study as belonging to the animal kingdom. So everything belongs to animal kingdom. Here we see a high level of life emerge. So first we had mineral, then vegetative, but animal that is in the, you can see they're in the third, in the hierarchy. Okay. Uh, or you can say, if you just start from human, so first human, then animal, then tree, then we have minerals. So in the hierarchy, we have human at the top. Okay, and the second top or second best that is animal, and the third best that is vegetative, that means trees and uh, or something, I mean, uh, other creatures like that. And then at the last, we have minerals. So that is the hierarchy. So you can see, so animal, all the creatures we study as belonging to the animal kingdom. Here we see a high level of life emerge. Animals seek pleasure, reproduction, and we can talk about a happy or sad dog. For example, to the extent that they are healthy and lead a pleasant life. So, can't we say that that dog is happy? Can't we say that that cat is happy? Because they go for reproduction. Taroto shantan utpadan kore kore na. Dog their family nai, cat their family thake na usually. So they reproduce. They also seek pleasure. Amra ke dekhe buste pane jai biral ta happy na koshte ase buse jana. फलोवान गाच देखते सुखी गाचे 
they can water that yeah, because it's full of fruit and flowers. Okay. That means when trees they come to fruition, then we can say that is satisfied and happy. Same goes for the animal. And now in the hierarchy, at the top of the hierarchy, we have human beings, ourselves, we, the human beings. So what is it that makes human beings different from the rest of the animal kingdom? Animal kingdom, Aristotle answers that reason. What is that? What's the difference between rock, uh, then vegetation, or you can say the veg uh, I mean, trees and the animals? What's the difference between uh, among these things of creatures? Humans, why we are the best? Because so we, we have, have the sense of bad and good things. We have risen. Because human brain is different. It has the logical portion. The other animals they don't have. They have, but it doesn't work. I mean, as effectively as the human beings. So, we are the reasoning, a critical reasoning, a common that we can do our best. We are the humans. Otherwise, shape a jai hope like a reason not to play. Our dust animals are not our ordinary. मानवता Reason is the factor. That is the key factor, the only factor that makes the difference. I mean, in the whole animal kingdom, or we can see in the whole creations of the Almighty. That's actually we are the best. Now, only humans are capable of acting according to principles that I have already explained in Bengali, and in so doing, taking responsibility for their choices. So we choose, we use our reasons, we use logic, and accordingly, we can make our choices. A tree does it does it have a choice that it will not grow in Bangladesh, it will grow in India? Can a tree make that choice? No, sir. Bangladesh economy to India Gurashi. Barbe. Did that a Mamusha Ketrishi mobility tatsana? Amashi choice never motoshi reasoning curva motoshi comota manusha atana? Mustava chicken. So we can make choice. So the other uh, in the other creatures of the animal kingdom, especially the vegetative or the rocks, actually they cannot make any choice. But other animals they can make choice. For example, a dog can make I mean dog can make a choice. So right at this moment he is uh, in Soetpur, maybe it will be in other place. So it can walk. It can, it can move to one from one place to another place. Now we can say we can blame Johnny for stealing the candy since he knows it is wrong, but we didn't blame an animal since it doesn't know any better. Here is an example. For example, we can blame uh, we can blame X Y Z. Okay, a person. If he or she steals anything from anybody, so we can blame him or her because he can use his, uh, he or she can use their their logic that stealing. Of, you tell me. Stealing, is it a good thing or bad thing? Bad thing. <laughs> to steal something from anybody, so that is a bad thing. Only human, we can judge it. We can evaluate that thing. So we can do justice to that. So the sense of justice that is applicable for the human being, because we have the reason. But if a dog, it steals anything because it's very hungry, so it wants to satisfy its hunger. If it steals anything from anybody, can you blame it? Can we say that that dog didn't, didn't use its logic? That's why he stole things from there. So usually, do we put dogs in the jail for stealing? No, sir. No, sir. Churi kulla hai toh amna taake to aghat kori, mari, batariye dei. 
কিংবা ভালো ব্যবস্থা নেই যাতে পরবর্তীতে কুকুরটা বাসায় ঢুকতে না পারে বা বিড়ালটা এসে যেন মাছ খেয়ে ফেলতে না পারে আমরা হয়তো সেই রান্নাঘরে সেই ব্যবস্থাটা করি কিন্তু ওদেরকে আমরা জেলে পাঠাই কারণ ওদের রাইট রং এর সেন্সটা নাই ওরা লজিক ইউজ করতে পারে so we can see that in the hierarchy human beings actually we are the, at the top of the hierarchy all right i think we're running out of time i'll take five more minutes then after that we'll finish our discussion okay in the next slide as you can see it seems that our unique function is to reason so what is our unique function that we can use our logic we can give reasons to something understood so that is the unique feature of the human being or humans so by reasoning things thinks out thinks out we at in our ends solve our problems and hence live a life that is qualitatively different in kind from plants or animals yeah that's true because of this reason we use reason and we decide that actually what we want to do in our life so what actually you are doing right at this moment in your life that is your choice and you have your own logic and accordingly you will get the result in your later life for example right after 5 years the way you are pursuing your academic career here in this university will get the result after four or five years and that is your choice you cannot blame anybody we cannot blame the cat in the kitchen ramnagorer biral tomar academic career kharab hoyeche jeno dai nai baba ma ko bolte parbo na that is your choice that's why he says that we can make this qualitative change in our life amader jiboner ei je matragoto ba gunogoto je parthokko amra kori eta amader reason byabohar korar madhye kore rakhte and that's why it makes a difference between a plant and the human being or between a an animal and a human being when you give a part of a reasoning of human okay the good for a human is different from the good for an animal because we have different capacities and potentialities so what is good for a human or what is good for a dog what is good for a cat so that is not good for me and a dog or or any kind of animal they cannot use their full potential in their life because they don't have that capacity but we the human being we have the capacity to use the full potentials of our amader jiboner je sambhavona amader je kichu kaj korbar khamota she gulo amra joto ta byabohar korte pari ekta animal er pokkhe tar jiboner potential oke byabohar korar she khamota tan dai kanto reasoning ta power ta amader moto na to je karone amra jibone joto ta safol hote parbo ba amra jebhabe we can make difference in our life a dog cannot make it a cat cannot make it it's not possible so we have a rational capacity and the exercising of this capacity is thus the perfecting of our natures as human beings so why actually we are in the higher out of these four things we are in the actually we are in the top of the hierarchy because this because of this rational capacity we have the rational capacity and we can practice that we can exercise that amra seta byabohar korte pari onno pranira seta byabohar korte pari and that's why he said he says that the rational capacity and the exercising of this capacity is thus the perfecting of our natures our natures as human beings so we are human beings why actually we are calling so that we are human beings because we can use that rational capacity we can exercise that capacity and we can perfect our nature as as human beings we can perfect our natures why actually we will call ourselves human beings because we have some features and only these features can be activated through practicing this rational capacity then we will be called that we are human beings the funny thing is that i don't know because i can't speak the language of the cat or dog but we can understand it that maybe the cats and dogs their parents maybe they don't say that you have to go to schools and colleges and then you have to be a dog in your life you have to be a cat in your life but in our case amader baba mara ki bolen toke lekha pora kore manusher moto manush hote hobe tar mane jormo nilei seta manush hoy na ota cultivation er byapar ache chorchar byapar ache বুঝতে পারছো কি বলছি জি স্যার জি স্যার আমি জানি না যে কুকুরের বাবা মরতে পারলে যে তোকে কুকুরের মতো কুকুর হতে হবে যদি জীবনে বড় হতে কিন্তু আমাদের কিন্তু বলে আমাদের বলছে না যে তোকে মানুষের মতো মানুষ হতে হবে বাবা আমি তো মানুষই আছি এখানে আমার মানুষ হওয়ার কি আছে ওই যে ফুল ক্যাপাসিটি দা রেশনাল ক্যাপাসিটি ওইটাই আসলে মানুষের মতো মানুষ হওয়ার জন্য ওইটাই আমাদেরকে বলা যে হ্যাভ টু এক্সারসাইজ দ্যাট ইফ ইউ রিয়েলি ওয়ান্ট টু বি হিউম্যান বিং you have to use that rational capacity in your life then you can call that yes i am otherwise i want to get to recent ghatana ghatche na char pashe idane i don't want to mention what is happening you know all of you know it very well that what is happening all around right at this moment in our country if those people they use their rational capacity properly do you really think that they could have done that yes sir 
whether he is a man or woman doesn't matter. What matters the rational capacity? If I can use my rational capacity, that what will make me human? Because the thing those people, especially those boys are doing, they're not using the rational capacity. So as a result, now we don't want to call them humans, right? Do you really want to call them humans? The things they're doing right at this moment, these people? फैमिलीचर right yes sir so what happens then we don't call them we don't want to call them human why because they have lost their rational yes, capacity yes, they didn't use the rational capacity that makes a difference so as you can see that aristotle actually he has given emphasis on this rational capacity or reasoning so that we can be happy in our life and we thus actually we can call ourselves that we are human beings so after this i would like to conclude our today's discussion this hierarchical hierarchical view of nature so we have lot more to talk about this uh, happiness our philosophy of happiness according to aristotle uh, we'll be talking about it in our next next lecture inshallah so if you have any question you can ask me otherwise i'd like to conclude our today's discussion do you have any question or any comments dear students do you have any question or any comment that you'd like to contribute to our today's discussion no, anything anyone ms ba Does we have you understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, that's great. Great. All right, Dilshad. I can see Dilshad is very happy today. She was laughing throughout the whole lecture. Right, Dilshad? And at one point she couldn't resist herself, so she turned off the video. Then she came back, and now Sorry, she, she is normal. What happened? Can you share with us? We yes, also sir. want to laugh. We also want to laugh. Yeah. What happened then? তা গ্রুপে এক স্ক্রিনশট শেয়ার করা হয়েছে তো সেই কারণে স্যার আই কন্ট্রোল আই ক্যান কন্ট্রোল মাইসেলফ সরি স্যার ওকে আফটার দ্য ক্লাস ইউ ক্যান অলসো শেয়ার ইট উইথ মি ওকে আই অলসো ওয়ান্ট টু লাফ ওকে স্যার নো স্যার আই নো হোয়াট ইউ আর ডুইং ইউ পিপল আর ক্যারিকেচারিং দ্য থিংস এন্ড স্টাফ ওকে তো আই ডোন্ট আই ডোন্ট মাইন্ড উইথ দ্যাট ইউ এনজয় ইয়োরসেলফ ওকে থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ স্যার ওকে স্যার ইট গুড টু সি ইউ অল টুগেদার টেক কেয়ার বাই Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.